Stephen A. Smith. You ain't fooling nobody. You finna go crazy and we dumb to think ESPN ain't finna stay number one. Shut the fuck up. Shut your ass up, you fucking puppet. We see what's going on, man. ESPN fucking up. And you trying to make it look like y'all they ain't. Nah, they fucking up. Go read what your damn CEO said. Go 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 talk to your CEO. What's his name? I don't know his fucking name. But go look up what he said. And, and then come back and tell me that shit didn't mean nothing. I said this, man. I said Stephen, uh, Stephen A. Smith is the type of nigga that he'll do anything for his boss. Man, Stephen A. a fucking puppet, bro. It ain't nothing he won't do for ESPN. This man, you supposed to be on vacation. And you sitting here talking on behalf of the company as if you want to impress. You want, you look, you're trying to get you're trying to get them to look at you and be like, hmm, he goes the extra mile. Yeah, you the face of ESPN, but ESPN ain't loyal. ESPN is not loyal. They'll fire anybody. Don't matter how long you've been there. Don't matter what you built while you was there. It don't matter how much they paying you. They, they will hire you and they will pay you a decent amount. You got to do whatever they tell you, though. They're going to pay you, though. Then they're going to pay you to leave. That's just how they operate. ESPN show you the status is your people, the status you hold on ESPN. It, ain't, it might not be permanent, man. They done got rid of a lot of people. Not just recently. Over the course of since I've been watching it. They done got rid of a lot of good people. People that I like to see, man. Shows that I liked. I liked Numbers Never Lie with Jamel Hill and Michael Smith. Got rid of both of them motherfuckers. Like, shit just don't, like, ESPN, they, they got rid of fucking Jalen Rose. They got rid of fucking Jeff Van Gundy, man. Who Mark Jackson going to call a game with now? They don't care. I give them credit for trying to do different shit recently, but it's too late, man. It's too late now. Motherfuckers ain't watching ESPN no more. We don't need to. There's too many other good shows where you can actually curse. It's too many shows on YouTube do the same shit y'all do, but they can curse and they can say what the fuck they want. They can wear what the fuck they want. You want them to see you on vacation and you still willing to make a statement on behalf of your boss. That's some fucking, boy, some, that's some Samuel Jackson Django ass shit. And I like Stephen A. Smith. But he, he one of them niggas, man. He one of them Django Samuel Jackson niggas, man. Trying to impress your boss and shit. Man, ESPN fucking up. That's why they firing all them people, man. Come on, be real. They could fire your ass too. Fucking keeping, keeping Kendrick Perkins fucking dumbass, keeping his ass. I like Richard Jefferson. I like Richard Jefferson. Um, I like JJ Reddick too. Malika, yeah, I'll fuck her. I think I like Rachel Nichols better. I'm just be honest. I think Rachel Nichols is better. I don't know. They fired her too. Got got her caught up in saying some shit. I think Matt Barnes and Steven Jackson ran train on Rachel Nichols. I think Jimmy Butler fucked her too. Stephen A. Smith, you ain't fooling nobody, man. I hope you made I hope whoever you was trying to impress saw what saw that shit and 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 um uh, sent you a text message saying I'm proud of you. Keep up the good work. I hope I hope you got what you wanted out of that. Cause everybody everybody know that ESPN going through some shit right now. And they trying to figure it out. Everybody know, man. It ain't no secret. Jalen Rose is on there for me. Man, Jalen Rose been on there. He a staple. Now, now whose hairline are we going to look at? They fucking up no matter how you want to look at it. Stephen A trying to come to the defense of his employer. Hold on now. Y'all got us fucked up. We still number one, nigga. Fuck you talking about. Fuck you talking about. We still number one. We still number one. We're number one. Y'all think we going anywhere? You think I'm fading? You think first take is going to fade? Buckle up. This whole internet is changing shit. The podcasting, man, there's so many other good podcasts out here that's worth that's worth watching over ESPN. You got all the smoke. You know, I really wouldn't consider that a podcast. They mainly just sit there and ask motherfuckers the same damn questions. About when they grew up and shit. You got the Knuckleheads with uh Quentin Richardson and the other nigga, what's his name? You got Gilbert Arenas. You got JJ Reddick. You got the Pat Bev podcast. You got 
Podcast P with Paul George. Um, man, the shit take it like. Why would we sit and watch ESPN when we got all these other options? Yeah, that's what's happening, man. That's that's facts. That's facts. That's what's going on. Shit, even Stephen A. got his own podcast. I'd rather watch that shit than watch ESPN. Nobody wants to sit and watch ESPN, man. They they fucking getting corny. They getting corny, man. That's why they kept the corny motherfuckers. They kept Malika Andrews and Kendrick Perkins' ass. It's like, uh, I, I see what's going on, man. I'm 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 not watching ESPN like that. I don't watch it like that. Sometimes I just watch it just because it's for sports, because I like sports. So I'm going to turn to any channel that's going to cover sports. But the main sport that I watch is basketball. But ESPN, they losing they, they losing their audience, man. And and you could understand why. You could understand why, man. This internet is a powerful tool. It really is. Let me know what y'all think in the comments. Um, You know, let me know. And uh, I'll catch y'all in the next one, man.